Hey there everyone, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for watching. In this video I want to try to keep it as short as possible, but in this video I want to talk about a, a new feature coming in Unify Network version 9.1.118. At the time of this recording it's still release candidate, but there is a good chance by the time you're watching it, it's already generally available. Now Cody from Mac Telecom Network has already created a video on everything new in this release and it's a major release with a lot of new things. I'm going to focus on one specific feature that I know has been long awaited for and I'm talking about if I scroll down QoS, enhanced QoS rule. In this release we are finally getting real true enterprise grade QoS. Now Ubiquiti has been pushing a lot towards enterprise grade features both software and hardware. QoS is just I think one of these efforts to kind of be up to par in enterprise grade firewalls. So QoS is a fancy way for us to be able to either prioritize certain traffic or limit certain traffic or a combination of prioritization and limitation. In fact Let's, without any further ado, let's go ahead to my UDM Pro, which I already updated. Let's go into settings, routing, QoS, and this is the new QoS kind of wizard. We already have a template kind of wool that we can get started with. In fact, I think we'll just start with it and we'll explain our way through it. So if I'll click on configure here, we can see that Actually, this is something that a lot of companies in real life are doing, prioritizing certain traffics for Teams or Google Meet or Zoom. But in this specific case, this example or template rule will be a rule to prioritize. By the way, when there's enough bandwidth to go around, nothing will be prioritized. Prioritization will only take place when there's congestion, when there's not enough bandwidth to go around. Only then the traffic will be processed and then the uh, prioritized traffic will indeed be uh, prioritized, so we can prioritize. On the other hand, we can limit, meaning we can set limit on download speeds or bandwidth or upload bandwidth, so certain uh, traffic, in this case these applications, will not be able to go over the uh, limitations we have set here. And we can also do combination, meaning traffic will indeed be prioritized when there's congestions but even when the traffic is prioritized it cannot hog all the traffic all the download speed all the upload speed for everyone else so the prioritization will take place but with certain limitations on it so these are the three kind of actions we can choose from of course these uh, other criteria are almost exactly the same as creating a firewall rule where we can select a source of any or a specific device, or a network, certain VLANs that we've created, that will be our source. We can apply it, sorry, that will be our source. We can apply it to any certain applications, like in this one, certain IP addresses, or certain domains, or certain regions, meaning all the traffic going, for example, Armenia, will be either prioritized, or limited. We have a lot of flexibility here on how we want to build our rules. If we have more than one WAN interface, we can apply to the one that's relevant for us or for all of them. And of course, schedule when do we want this QoS rule to be applied, either always, daily in certain times of the day, weekly if we want to uh, select certain days, or we can have it one time or even custom, which give us, gives us more flexibility. So as you can see, we can start to create QoS rules that will really customize the way that our firewall manages traffic. Let's create several of them, or at least two of them. For the first one, we'll keep it as is. We'll be prioritizing from any device to these applications on all of our WAN networks. We'll do it during business hours, so weekly during these days, these time frames, that's great. Let's click on add. Let's create a new one. This new rule will not be prioritizing. We will be limiting our IoT network, just as an example. Going to region, maybe, maybe we'll select China. 
and we don't want on all of our WANs and we don't want over 10 megabits or 10 uh, megabits download sorry or over 10 megabits upload downloader uh, or uh, upload bursts we want to turn those off because these can also hog bandwidth and we want to apply it always all the time weekdays weekends all the time let's click on add and as we build out more and more qos rules the essence or what the qos rule does will be sort of listed in the lines for example this one is to prioritize the source any to these applications and this rule will be limiting iot to china and what the limitations are so we kind of we have some sort of clarity from all our qos rules what they do so instead we don't need to go inside the rule to do what it does all right guys so this is the feature itself but there's a, there's a big caveat here that you have to be aware of if we, if we create a new rule we can see that the ubiquity is is warning us sort of that qos has an impact on performance if we'll click on learn more we'll be taken to a kb article and this is something that they're i don't know if it's the uh, the right term to say they're hiding it but you really need to get into the article to understand it we'll select unify network uh, 9.1 and higher from all the fluff i can take you to what's really important qos this qos mechanism is applied on the gateway level enabling qos rules disables offloading on the gateway reducing speeds for all clients and networks not just the ones affected by the rule now what exactly is the performance hit you might ask yourself the performance impact depends on the network blah 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 blah. when routing above one gigabit enabling qos can result in get this 25 to 45 percent and this is a marketing kind of wording adjustment in performance in real in real life they say it's 25 to 45 uh, percent performance hit and that's major that's a lot i know that the feature itself is very convenient it's a long it's long awaited for it's up to par with other kind of big brand enterprise firewalls but the performance hit here is major and it's so big that i i can't really wholeheartedly recommend that you enable this feature unless it's absolutely critical for your organization or network the performance hit here is major by the way if your goal is to block an application you don't need qos rules you can create firewall rules especially in the zone based firewall if i'll go to security and create a new firewall rule regardless of the name or the source according to your needs we can of course action block destination external and we can select an app it's exactly the same application list from the qos rules and you can select an application and the firewall will, will block the application altogether so if that's your goal you don't need the qos rules at all but think about it the qos rule as a feature is nice even in a home network for example on school days in the evening time you can limit the bandwidth for example on tiktok to a grinding halt that's great in fact let's try to create this kind of rule if i'll go to qos create rule let's name this tiktok limit network uh, let's let's select our clients network but of course uh, your mileage may vary destination app select tiktok on all of our wins download kilobytes select one upload kilobytes select one schedule weekly monday to friday from i don't know from eight or from let's say eight to eleven every day from eight to eight from eight to eleven tiktok will come to a grinding halt it will not be usable and the kids will have to lay down their uh, uh, their mobile phones and go to sleep so that's the qos feature i think it's a great one the implementation is very easy 
very unified in design language, but the performance hit here is major, so it will be up to you unless it's very critical for you. I don't know if I recommend using it, but that's the feature and we, I know it's been long awaited for. If you like this video, please give it a like and of course consider subscribing and I will see you all in my next video. Bye everyone.